my name is Godacity, and I am with Steven, who is another gentleman interested in pen testing and uh, achieving the OSCP certification through offensive security. Uh, him and I met via YouTube, and um, we decided to collaborate and go ahead and try pen testing a VM from VulnHub.com. Uh, I will post the name of the VM on the description. And Stephen has gone quite a ways ahead of me and uh, done some reconnaissance. Uh, I had a bunch of issues trying to get a couple of VM, this VM to work properly. Um, so Stephen, do you want to go ahead and give us a little bit of a rundown of what you've done so far and what you found? Yeah, sure. So uh, basically I started with NMIP uh, to uh, one simple scan and one uh, full port scan. And it turns out there are only two open ports, 22 for SSH and 8008 uh, for HTTP. And uh, then I went ahead and used uh, DearBuster to find any interesting files. Uh, nothing, uh, I didn't find anything interesting from there. Uh, but if you go and check the robots.txt on the web server itself, you see uh, several, I think 20, 24, 25 uh, garbage strings, so random garbage str strings. And if you go through those strings and from there on uh, do another dear buster and uh, check for anything interesting, any interesting, interesting directories or files, then you will find the folder Wuln Bank. And in this folder, you will find some uh, PHP files. For example, Wuln Bank slash client slash login dot PHP. Mm. And if you open, if you open this, uh, this PH, PHP file, uh, I like I said, you get a login prompt, and in the app and the username, you can try uh, to uh, you can try to put an SQL injection, and you get an SQL error. So that's mm. where I'm right now. Okay. Perfect. Yes. I'm Apparently, since I'm booting from a live USB, I can't copy and paste between machine host and VM. Really? Doesn't work? It does not. Okay. Pain as. Nice. So you said, have you been able to access the panel yet? The panel? Or have you been able to log in yet? No, no. I, um, I don't know what to do with that SQL error with that message. I mean, I, I know I know what it means. It's telling me my, my select uh, statement is wrong, but uh, I don't know how to get around it. Hmm. Have you tried using SQL map? Yeah. It fails. Mm. This is not not exploitable. I guess you have to get a bit further manually first, and then you can probably use SQL map. I guess. Are you on the? Uh, did you try to get to this uh, login prompt? Yeah, I'm. I'm at the login now. Oh, okay. Cool. So I ran, I ran DearBuster again, right? And there are some other files in there, like login dot, uh, all in the same uh, client folder. So uh, you have a folder images with two images in there. Uh, upload login dot PHP, client dot PHP, logout dot PHP, config dot PHP, and ticket dot PHP. Mm.
Hey, hey, hey. I can't fuck with Flunzy no more. Ask the nigga for her, then the swap was right at his door. Flunzy a bitch, and I hope that he know. Pull up to his crib, 50 deep of shots, you know. Will you call her, please, and ask her? Me? Bro, please just call her and tell her that she needs to call me, please. Hey, you didn't send me your number. Just be like, he's freaking out. Please call him. Just for two minutes. That's all I need. That he can't get. Do this crying like she's a fing asset. Nigga crying like he just got his ass wet. Flunzy can't have, so let's snap that. Flunzy swatted niggas who just said they address. Flunzy bitching out of shit and he can't tap. Flunzy need to turn himself in cause he can't hack. I want you to be So, something I'm noticing is that only, feels like only the username field is injectable. Yeah, because, looks like it. Yeah. So. Uh, I think, wait. What's that? I think I found something. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try again. So, if you put in a username, right, uh, the single quote and another single quote, and then space, and then union, select, and then null, comma, null, then you get a just invalid credential. So you get a a valid, uh, a valid statement. Wait, you said ta or, uh, wait, wait, single, wait, 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 wait. single quote, single quote, space, union. I'll, I'll write it to you in uh, Discord. Uh, yeah. Those are two single. Oh wait, wait. Oh, wait a second. Those are still just uh the username then, I guess. So that doesn't do anything. Okay, forget what I said, it doesn't make sense. I think I found something. You try that. Um, wait. Put that in the username. Uh, just a single. And then the password, put that in. Wait, it doesn't make sense, does it? If that goes. Let's see.
You got something? No, I think I'm just stepping back. I think I'm just finding what you already just by Trevor. Okay. Uh, I think I just found something. Okay. I was yeah, put me in a login, logged me into somebody. What? Okay. I'll send it to you. Found it on this website. I just put that in the login. Okay, one second. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, just that? Okay. Did you get in? Wait one second. My Kelly right now doesn't want to work. <laughs> oh, there's also. Yeah, just Hanks. I don't know. Oh. You can attach, upload, just J. JPEG or JPG, JPEG or BMP. What the hell? Nothing's working anymore. What's this? Okay, restart then. Dang, that sucks. It just stopped working like I can't visit the web page anymore. Oh, sick. I think I found a way to get in. Really? Okay. Oh. Also took me to a redirect after I submitted successfully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure I can do it. Maybe. <laughs> Find out. Doesn't look, maybe not. Creating a page back to well, I can't get in anymore. I don't know what the hell. What's wrong? Like I, I, I see the what is going on? Oh damn it.
Did you take any of those garbage garbage strings or years or, or yeah? Did you just take the URL I posted, or did you take any of the? Those no, you I found? didn't. I didn't try yours. Okay, because I can't. I can't get in anymore. You can't um, get to the web page. Yeah, I, I see the. I see the main page, but if I want to go to this uh, Wuln bank, then yeah, can't get there. It says uh, not found. Still nothing, man. Nothing on your side. Oh yeah, I got a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just executed. So there's a trick to be able to bypass um, um, uh, freaking it. upload filtering. What the heck am I trying to say? Content filtering. Um, okay. And it's the way that you name your file. It's a, it's a sick bypass. It's super old. Type it to you. So here's the payload I generated right here. I can't believe that was so easy. So I got in, holy crap. But why, why can I not get on here anymore? What the hell is going on? I don't, I don't get so it. That's how you generate the payload. Then you're going to want to obviously use. OK. Use the ham, handler exploit. Use. Uh, And then you'll set the L port and L host. But you can't navigate to it now. No, I don't know what's wrong. I just deleted the whole V the whole VM again, and imported it again. But I see it. Nothing. I can ping it. Uh, but what the fuck? Maybe try clearing your cache in your browser. Yeah. I still. Yeah. Okay. I tried it. Still weird. What the fuck? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I think it just wants me to catch up to you or something. Yeah, I, did, I mean, I don't get it. Like, I, I can, I can ping the the VM. It's there, you know. So, mm -hmm. but hey. bad for you right now <laughs> <laughs> because it just stopped like from i don't know i didn't do anything uh, different just stopped working what the hell this is the kind of stuff that we're gonna have to deal with on the oscp great guess it's good practice i don't know yeah <laughs> Coming from the trap, all a nigga know is get it. I ain't chasing no pussy, girl. I'm talking about the digits. Big bank rolls in my pockets, all thickies. Turned a little check, then I showed you I could triple it. Baby, it's Hoover, I only want you. I don't give a fuck who can't tax on my face. She don't give a fuck who still looking too good to get you fucked on sight. I'm trying to finish this, who I started with. I'm trying to spend it all, who I got it with. Hey, she my trap queen, let her hit the band though. Hey, we be going up, watch out for them bands go. Hey, hop to my baby, she jump out the limo. Hey, run the bands up smooth. Wait a second, I have. Oh, I finally spawned a TTY shell. You found something? Yeah, well, there is the stuff in here that I'm working getting to, but I. I had to spawn a shell. So once once you got an um, interpreter and drop into a shell, you have to you have to use this command right here to spawn a sh spawn a TTY shell.
so that you can execute certain commands. I'm going to send it to you here right now. I think I found my problem. I found two different MAC addresses for the same IP. How, how could that happen? Oh, that boy. Matter. Oh. I mean, it was probably the way it was configured before. I don't know. It's, it's for sure not. Let's see. What the hell are these? This is funny. Why? What happened? Um, I'm just in the um, directory for, we're in the web directory and it's just got like hella directories. Okay. Wait, so the comment you sent me, so what does that do? It's, what what does that percent 20? Um, that is what you put in the username field. Yeah, yeah. And then press enter. <laughs> and then I get a invalid credentials. What? Yeah. What did you get? I'm going to try it again. It's just that um, single quote percent. Yeah. Ah, okay. Something went wrong by. Uh, by copying it, yeah, okay. Weird. Okay. Then upload, uh, okay. Get it. Now I just have to root it. I just really wonder if we really allow to use MSF uh, Venom in the OCP. I hope so. I'm pretty certain we are, yeah. Got cron jobs, MySQL. Oh, we can view the password file. Uh, this is. Are you in yet? Where? What? Again? Do you have a shell yet? No, no, no. Uploading right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go warm up my food. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, it looks better. Yeah, I watched... Uh, I've been watching some pen test videos. I, I try not to watch too many of these. Yeah. Because my... I'm not going to watch it just in case I want to do it. 
but I have watched a couple. And that trick, that content bypass for PHP shells, that content filter upload or whatever, um, he did that in one of his videos, and I remembered it just while I was doing that, and it worked. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so when you generate the payload, just name it exactly how I have it, because yeah. you can upload JPEG, BMP. Uh, upload already, now just to to open the uh yeah so this is the website i'm sending you right now super great for spawning tty shells okay one second you don't have to go to it just use the commands i gave you but that's the resource i'm using yeah starting the callback yeah Why does it not work now? What the hell? Nothing's working anymore. It's all right. I'm just munching on a burrito. So. <laughs> we can always shortcut this. Edit it a little bit. Yeah. Three minute video. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> Looked at the machine. Ah, for sure. That's this. Bam, done. <laughs> <laughs> Professionals. <laughs> Elite hacks always. Yeah. See, what the hell? Like, my IP changed now. Like, why does my IP just change in the middle of... <laughs> like, before I had one one dot nine, right? And now it's 1.11. That's why, of course, it's not working. But, like... <laughs> Oh, wow, that's funny. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Your DHCP server is like, I'm going to give you a new one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. I thought this was funny. I'm pretty sure I found what we need to do. Well. To get root? No, I haven't done anything because I'm waiting for you, but um, I used, uh, I navigated to the um, ETC directory okay. and did an LS tech LA to list uh, permissions. Okay. And on my Cali box, it has read write and for root, but it uh, only has read for um, standard users. But on this okay. on this Volna box, it has read write for root and read write for the standard user. Okay. So I wonder if somehow we write to the <laughs> to the password file. I don't know what to do with that. I've never, never written to a password file before. I'm just going to try some. I hope I don't screw up. Wait a second. I wonder if I give it. <laughs> I'm to oh, shoot. Ah. Um. So I was able to vi edit the what the shadow file? No, the password file. Oh, okay. But I wonder if I change the uh, the freaking my user ID to the roots if <laughs> that'll screw it up. Well, if you can edit the password file, maybe you can uh, change the sudo rose file. Hmm. Where is that located? And I, I know I could do vi sudo, but... Uh, etc as well. etc and then sudo rose. Oh. Hmm. 
I'm an idiot. No, nah, it's only read. Mm, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this. Oh, you can can you edit a new user? Uh, add a new user. Try. No, I cannot. Yeah. Okay. But I don't. I didn't just screw it up. Oh, that's so weird how I can write to it. Found an article for privilege escalation password file. Okay. Um, oh, check this out. Uh, for backward compatibility, if a password hash is present in the second column in the etc password file, it takes precedence over the one in shadow. That's interesting. And that second column for me. So guys, I wanted to do a quick um, add in here. Um, so basically what that article is bas uh, basically saying was that um, if you append to the password file uh, a user password and everything configured the same way um, as one of these users uh, in the password file already you can basically add a user and if you duplicate the roots mm -hmm. um, basically password in, or password line up there at the top uh, the article basically says that root is not determined by the name root it's determined by the user ID 0 so if I duplicate a that line that root has but change the username and give myself the UID of 0 I basically create a user account and give myself self root, root root privileges. So I was able to append the word hello to the end of the password file. So I'm pretty sure that's the escalation path we're gonna go. What what, what do you append? Say that again. The word hello, just to see if I can okay. write to it. And yeah, I could. Without any errors. Ah, shoot. The second
Oh, snap. Oh, I got root. Ready? Yes. Was it hard? <laughs> uh, not once I found the, uh, the volume. I mean, I was, uh, all I did was freaking check the, uh, the password file. Okay. I mean, I was lucky because I was scrolling through the ETC after doing LSTAC LA. And um, I saw the password file had read write for standard users. I yeah. Like, Wait, that looks weird. That shouldn't, I don't think that's right. And so I checked on my Cali box and it doesn't have permissions to write um, on the password file. So I Googled. Um, gain root access via password file and there's an article on privilege escalation for Linux through password file and it says you can append um, or if you the password file overwrites the shadow file um, and it says that if you even if you have um, the same you, if you change the name, if you just change the name, but use the same UID yeah. and create a password, there's like a command to generate a crypt or encrypted password, encrypted password, and you put that in the second column. So all I did was change the name root to Tor and generated that password, put it in there, and then I just echoed it into the end of the bash file with the same UID as root, and then I logged okay. it straight into the... VM with Tor one and that password, and it says I'm root. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool art here. I'm gonna send it to you. That's like never gonna be the scenario, life. But You're probably not. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally, I have my shell. Three years later. Ugh. <sighs>